For this video, what I want to do is show you how to find the critical values um, for 94% confidence for Z intervals. Okay, so for this, what we have is we are trying to find, depending upon your textbook, you may see it as ZC or Z star. Okay, we are trying to find the Z scores that correspond to having 94% of the area in between. Okay, so that's what we're looking for is ZC. These are just our values that end our confidence intervals. Okay, um, so to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this in the TI Inspire graphing calculator. Okay, so we're going to try to find these values here. Um, in order to find this in your graphing calculator, you do kind of have to understand that what we are looking for is the area in the tails. Okay, and the area in the tails, remember that since 100% of our area has to fall under the curve, we would do 1 minus 0.94. So the area in the tails just means the area outside of our level of confidence. So that means that about 6% of the intervals that we uh, get will not fall between those two values. Okay, and then half of that would be here so half of the 0 0.06 would be 0 0.03 and half of it would be here so you can either do the math on your own and find that we would find the area for 0 0.03 or when you go to your calculator and you find the inverse norm you can just type in the area is one half one minus your level of confidence zero one Okay, so you can either type this in, so when we go to put this into our calculator, we can either enter inverse norm, one half, one minus 0.94, and it won't look exactly like this, but that's what essentially we'll be putting in for the area. This is the area to the left. Okay, or you could just type in inverse norm, 0.03, zero one because we found that here so we did one half of the area on the outside okay so let me grab my calculator and i'm just going to add a calculator screen to this one and to get there what we're going to do is we're going to go to menu and we're going to go to probability and we're going to go to distributions which is option five okay um, and we will select inverse normal, which is number three. Okay, so I will go over that again and I'll show you the other way. So you have the option of either putting in one half, one minus 0.94, and then close your parentheses and select OK. And it gives you negative 1.88079. Okay, or to go through that again, we could have gone to menu option five you could also go to option six statistics it's underneath there too um, the distributions and then option three the inverse norm and you can type in 0 0.03 instead of the one half one minus c and notice we get the same thing so either way allows you to get the same answer so let's go ahead and write that down. So our critical value for this one is going to be 1.88 typically we only report the top, the positive value sometime they will ask you for both critical values and then you would just put a negative 1.8 and positive 1.88 so just um, know what your textbook is looking for when they are looking for the critical values as always thanks for watching if you have any questions please let me know if there are additional topics you need me to cover please let me know that as well